Modern games matchmaking is trying to put you up with people of your skill level. What's the alternative to matchmaking pairing you up with people of your skill level? It's matchmaking pairing you up with people who are not your skill level. Really bad for you or them. Either you're way too good or they're way too bad and it's not right. Why would I want to play a game where the game actively pairs up mismatched groups of people so that one person wins way more than the other? What makes the, that like a more fun experience? The reality is one person's probably having fun. And that person is the person who's the best person. And if you are looking to play games where the best player doesn't always win because you want higher variance and you're upset that the games you play are not that way, there's plenty of games that you can play that are like that. A game like Call of Duty with, with kill streaks and shit, oh, it's a game that's nice built time. to be snowballing in that sense. So some games will go really well because you're just and you're on fire and everything's great and some games will go bad. It's very normal. Problem with skill-based matchmaking is it doesn't work as intended. If an average player has two good games in a row, you get placed with sweat lords and it's GG's for the rest of the session. Let me ask you a question. When you won the last two games and you did well, were you not the sweat lord to the other people you were playing against? And then on top of that, right, if you win a bunch and then your MMR goes up and you play people who are too good, and then you lose, what happens? You go down back to the MMR you were, and apparently in that MMR you were crushing it, so you'll win again, right? You go up and down, that's it. Let me give you an example. A healthy relationship with MMR and matchmaking. Hunt Showdown has an MMR system. When I queue up, I get placed against people who are the highest MMR in the game. And when an event comes around, the event has challenges. The challenges are like, hey, kill someone with a bow instead of a gun, run around using poison or use fire bullets instead of the, you know, bullets that are better. And when I do these challenges and we're trying all this silly stuff, our MMR drops. Naturally, you, do, you don't kill as many people or you don't win as much because you're using worse loadouts and you play against worse players and then those players kill you while you're using these silly loadouts, et cetera, right? These things happen. And when that happens, it's never like, oh my God, like, this game sucks so much because I have to use these silly loadouts. It's the opposite. I get to use these silly loadouts and it's fun to like mess around with goofy loadouts and try them against people who are like really good. And if I die a bunch, I die a bunch and my MMR goes down and who cares? Like later on when the event's over or when I'm done with the battle pass, I'll just use the normal guns again and my MMR will go back up. And if it doesn't, then who cares? I have fun playing the game, whether I'm using these silly challenges or playing the game normally. It's very normal. It happens all the time. And I never am bothered by it because, duh. What if I just want to play a real casually and I don't want there to be skill-based matchmaking because I don't want to try hard to have to win. So you, there's like a barometer in the game. Like you're this good, but you're like, I've turned off my try hard nozzle. So I'm this good now. If you don't want to play people your skill level, the only thing I can assume is that you want easy matches where you can beat up people who are worse than you. And if that's the case and skill-based matchmaking didn't exist, what if you were just always the worst person in every lobby? You could be the person that's getting beat up and someone's dropping 40 or 50 kills on. You notice you never consider if you are the player who's the weakest. It's always just, I want it to be easier for me. And if it's easier for you, it's way harder for your opponents, right? You never are thinking about the other person. As nice as it is to beat up little Timmy, the five-year-old, when you're the best player in the lobby, it really sucks when you're the worst player in the lobby and you're getting your absolute ass beat. And also, why do you want to play people who are way worse than you all the time? Don't you think it's a little weird? Like, what is your obsession with that? Because you just don't want to brain off and beat people up and like win? And like, yeah, play AI. The point of casual modes, right, is that the results are less important. So there's not the stress of if I win or whatever, like you don't have to worry about your ranked mode going up and down. Yeah, a lot of casual modes. In fact, I, I would assume most still have matchmaking in them, MMR in them. It's nice, right? Isn't it nice? Like you can just play the game, not worry about your rank. That's the point of it. If you play against people and they beat you and they're sweat lords or you win and you, you just had a good game, then the way you think about yourself and the rating system is already not good. Just by labeling them sweat lord, like you're already trying to diminish. You're like, this guy's trying to win in a game where the objective is to win. What is he, a fucking idiot? You not think about the way your brain is absorbing this? The true answer, and you know it and I know it, is that your ego is getting your ass beat. When you lose, it's because that guy was trying hard. And when you win, it's because you're a beast. You just kind of cleaned up and... I was kind of on one this game. I'm trying to make your wins feel more deserved. Trying to make your losses feel less deserved. It's for sure the ego jump, like leaping in front of you to save you. You're just mad that you're bad. Instead of trying to explain it like an adult, I'll treat you like a little, the little Timmy you're trying to shoot. That's you to me right now. You're the little Timmy 
that's easy to just crush and get a fucking 40 kill streak and drop a nuke on the lobby and post that shit on YouTube. That's who you are to me in this conversation. Do you not realize that? But what a bit, but that's what you sound like to me. You sound, you're like the little kid on the other team who's like, he's try harding. He's a sweat lord. Yeah, I'm fucking sweating because my brain's working, bro. And your shit is just over there, a big pile of putty doing absolutely nothing for you 24 seven. You're getting your ass beat. This shit is not good. You want to quit, but the game's going to penalize you if you quit. So you're just too sad. You can't close the tab. Does that give you more perspective? Does that help? Why is it that your efforts of getting good don't matter because skill-based matchmaking exists? That's maybe the most nonsensical thing I've ever heard in my life. What does skill-based matchmaking have to do with your effort to get good at the game? Is your argument that if you get really good, you should just win all the time always? Because I've got great news. If you get really good, if you actually are really, really, really good, you'll win way more than you lose. Isn't that awesome? Even with skill-based matchmaking. <gasps> what? Isn't that sick? That's great news for you. You should be elated about that. The better you are, the better your practice will be playing against people who are good. It's awesome. If you're good, you want to play against people who are good. If you're bad, you want to play against people who are bad with you. Because then all of you are the same skill level together. You can play against people who are good at your skill level. It's great. Skill-based matchmaking is dope. And if you're not happy it exists, I worry about your ego and lack of empathy. I'm concerned for you, for sure. Listen. It's always the same people arguing the same points that don't make any sense. There must be like a Call of Duty YouTuber or something who made a video about skill-based matchmaking because he got pissed. He couldn't get any clips that day. He snorted some G Fuel on his little scuff game controller. What up guys, it's your boy. I gotta tell you bros, skill-based matchmaking's not good, man. I can't boot up and just in a lobby like I used to, you know what I'm saying? Drop a like and subscribe. Use code WiscoTango76 for the G Fuel link. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Just ruined everybody's opinion about skill-based matchmaking for the last decade. It's been unreal. Irreparable damage to the brains of so many people.